both films, the first film as well, uh, it's all going backwards. Um, is that the concept of the three films, or is every film a different film? Why is it a trilogy? Well, um, it, yes, it's a concept, but uh, the third one is still a surprise for me, so uh, I okay. wouldn't say it's a concept for the three. Okay. But uh, it's based on the idea of manipulation of body motion and motion picture. So I really went back to studies of uh, Edward Mowbridge, it's a photographer from the late, um, yeah, um, the beginning of, yeah, the end of the 19th century. And he was doing this uh, research on um, um, body motion. So he put photo cameras one next to the other, and then he was like shooting, uh, I think, um, yeah, uh, one frame per second, something like that. And then he gave the first time the impression of the movement of the body. So the illusion of the body motion and picture. So uh, I went there to get inspired, and then I was thinking like, well, what would you do uh, at, uh, in 2007? That was when I started the yeah. first one. What can um, technology bring to this kind of study? So it was not really, I was not really looking for dance film, but more for the combination of body motion and motion picture. Okay, you worked very close together with Michael Schumacher. Is that answer in the film? Yes. And there was a dancer in the first film as well? Yeah, actually, uh, it's a collaboration with Michael, and uh, yeah, these two films couldn't exist if it was not Michael there, because uh, we really exchanged a lot of ideas, and uh, he's a master, you, as you can see. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we work very close, and uh, we are going also to work in the third one. Okay. Um, it's the, the story is based on the letter to uh, Doreen by uh, the French philosopher Goetz. He died last year, I think. In 2008, yes. 2008, yeah. September. Um, what was so intriguing? Can you, can you tell us very shortly about the book, or the letter, more or less? Well, uh, in this uh, part of the trilogy, I wanted to add a layer to it. So I wanted to work with the mental time, the how memory works. And um, when I read this book, I was super touched, and it touched, and it was very. Um, uh, specific in a very specific moment in my, of my life, personal life. And I really, yeah, could not get rid of the book. And uh, then suddenly I saw the two, uh, yeah, the book come closer to the project, Men and Woman. And um, yeah, because time is so present also in, the, in his book. Yeah, it was a perfect combination. So um, yeah, it was an inspiration, big inspiration. Yeah, I can understand. 